there didn't seem to be anything else. You know? Did you know? Like, I'm curious. Did you like? Did you have a conscious thought of like, there's nothing else. Like, what are we doing? Like, what was the shifting well, point for you? The shifting point for me was I was dating uh, amazing, gorgeous girl, and she was beginning to get into vegetarian, and she was pushing me to open up my my mind, Vulnerable I guess, side. <laughs> and, and she, you know, it began to get a little bit like, she might leave, and I'm like, I don't want, you know, like, what do I, you know, I was really, it was very interesting, because I do remember thinking, you know, sometimes she'd talk about sacred sex, and... Ooh, and I'm thinking, uh, and I'm thinking, yeah, but we all didn't know what that was before exactly. we knew what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's be real. And I, and at that point, for guys, all sex was sacred sex. But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, like, and, and you're like... Why put a sacred in front of it? Like, <laughs> who needs the extra work? Exactly. <laughs> but as a guy, you know, like, I'm, I'm like, okay... What is that? Uh, where do I find? And, you know, I was like, like it's an adjective. this whole... You, you're kind of, you're kind of left in this black hole of... You have no f freaking idea what she's talking about, <laughs> but you want to try to somehow make it all work. And Save the relationship. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you're exactly. So we are here with, what's your name? Mark. Mark. And so I was asking you what conscious relationships and sacred sex means to you when, uh, when I say that, like what does that, what does that pick up on? But what do you pick up on when I say that? You're like, he's like, I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> like conscious. Like conscious. Conscious sex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would like hope she's conscious. Wow. I hope she's conscious too. I hope I'm conscious. That would be preferable. No, what do you mean? Be more specific. I don't um, okay, so if I say, like, a healthy relationship, what does that mean? Never had one. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in that boat sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So at least I was forced to what a solid at least kind of, like, open, <laughs> open up and, and consider other things, you know, because by, by this time, I, you know, I was in my late 30s and I was very comfortable in my rational, logical thinking mind that I already knew everything I needed to know and I had it down to the T and nobody was gonna tell me nothing and you know, and so it was really kinda, it really pushed me to at least kinda, okay, what, what, what is this? What, 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 is, what is she talking about? At least to consider that there may be any something else, whatever that may be. So even like the conversation of like, hey babe, our sex can be so much better wasn't like enticing enough to be like, oh, well, let's try that. Or it wasn't kind of put on like that. She's not selling that because no. she was selling she... features. <laughs> no, no, it was. We had a great sex life, but there were different. You know, I was eating a lot of meat. I was drinking. So it was. I think it was just a whole. It was, it was what had to be, it was what had, it was like I was stuck in a pattern yeah. of thinking I knew what I was doing with my food and stuff and in reality I was eating very bad, I was 20 pounds overweight, I was drinking a lot and I thought everything was perfect and I wasn't going to hear it from anybody. Except she at least, you know, the, the notion that she might leave me did force me to, <laughs> to, to at least, you know, like, okay, it, it really kind of put me in a space of, okay, what, 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 what is she talking about? And at least that started me in a path of trying to find some answers 
you know, even though I, I was fighting all the way. I, I, you know, I was like, we were getting arguments in the supermarket because she wanted, she wanted organic. I'm like, it's the same, sh it's the same stuff, you know. I'm like, all this stuff. I, I remember having this, this arguments with her and things like that, you know. And now I don't buy anything that's not organic, and I have ch shifted my whole entire life. Yes. So if you could imagine then what a healthy relationship would be from the experience of what you haven't had, mm -hmm. what do you think, what do you think having one, like what would that look like to you? Like what would you like to have then as far as like a healthy relationship? Well, just good communication, okay. trust, um, that's about it. <laughs> good communication and trust yeah. and conscious. <laughs> Consciousness, yes. <laughs> so yes. that you can have sex with at least, person. At least on my part, you know. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Mark. That was yeah. badass. I appreciate it. All right. I mean, if you think about conscious relationship, conscious relationship, like you were saying, bringing it back to the number one person that we have a conscious relationship with it is with ourselves. Yes. And then that emanates in everything. You start, once you start to have because sometimes it takes another person, it takes mm -hmm. us diving deep with another person mm -hmm. to start to see what's really inside of us. Well, they're all our reflections. If we didn't have that person standing in front being like, hey, yeah. like you can crack open this door. A lot of times we do have that person, but because it's somebody very familiar to us, mm -hmm. yeah. we so, just don't listen to them. You know, it's like, oh, she's just gonna, like right, if it's right. a brother or a sister or a father or a mother, it's like, oh God, I'm so tired of your whatever, blah, 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 and you just yeah. don't listen. Mm -hmm. You shut yourself off. Yeah. It's like Jack Malone's so wife who used to not listen to him. He used to always complain about that. So it's like, I'm one of the leaders in the field of, 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 of healthy living. My wife doesn't listen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's almost like the fear of, of losing somebody, which could be almost like a codependency kind of thing was what actually led you then to finding your true authentic self which yeah. on the flip side is your own sovereignty in a way. I think it just opened that path of at least me asking questions and, mm -hmm. and that very slowly opened up. It wasn't a quick thing, it took years and... When you think about just to to touch on that, you think about consciousness. Consciousness is what we are. So the moment it has an opportunity to spark, it spreads. Mm -hmm. So if you have a window inside of you, there's just enough for it to seep in, it's gonna move. And once it unravels, it's like a sweater, it's just gonna keep going. And then we light each other up. And that's probably why we're all drawn here today and why we keep drawing people that are more conscious into our life because we're expanding every moment. Mm -hmm. and so those people that we draw in, they're, they're expanding and that you, it's a movement happening right now. Yeah. All over, I've got goosebumps thinking about it. <laughs> you know, I'm super excited to be a part of that way. Thank you so much for watching Seeking Serotonin. I'm Sarah Delane, your conscious lifestylist, guiding you on your path to holistic health and empowered living. If you've enjoyed watching these videos, please subscribe below. And remember, you can visit Sovereign-Alliance.com for my line of energy tools and fashionable frequency jewelry. Or to book a personal one-on-one -on -one conscious lifestyleist consultation, please visit SeekingSerotonin.com. See you on the next episode.